Morning all, got it extra early today. So there's literally only about parked up at the moment. 30 cars, 40 cars, uh, as you can see. I think it's gonna be busy, so yeah, let's see what we find. Oh yeah, it's really early. This is the earliest I think I've been to a boot sale. I'm like still half asleep. Oh. <laughs> You've been where? Been here before. Oh. This is the earliest. I feel half asleep I still. Been to the beach. Oh no, no. That's too far away to die. Oh, it definitely is. Oh, I'm just not too sure. My knowledge isn't there. I bet these are the bloody desirable ones as well, made in China. Oh yeah, he's crazy. People go nuts for it. Ah, oh, cheers. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. How much are these little uh, Pokemon things? Ah, oh, cheers, thank you. Sorry, how much are your board games? How much are your board games? Oh, sorry, do I have to know? Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. How much are these? Um, how much are your How much are your board games? How much are them, Des? Much. Mummy! No, it's alright. It's early, isn't it, as well? I've, this is. Is there much more? Is there um, vintage? How much are you after for the board games? Oh, it's 70s, isn't it? Uh, I think these two are 90s. I don't know what one this is. That, that's mostly 70s, it looks like. Uh, what, do you want all three of them? I do, uh, mostly these two, to be fair. Or maybe this one. I just wanted to know, uh, yeah. Three quid for that one. Yeah? Three pounds for that one. All right, then. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, and I look around as well. So I will definitely take that. Two of them will fire her. I oh, know. I'm only gonna take that one if it's all right. Yeah, yeah. I've got the. No, I've been with used to play there. Oh, I love the. <laughs> We've got to play for hours, not we? There you go. Yeah. Oh. Ah, cheers, thank you. It's probably warm right up. Oh, that's And that telephone. I can see the telephone on the table. Keep going down. I was in, on the tape front. Oh, yeah. No, I think that's a score for three quid. It's all there. Skylanders. Uh, I don't think I could waste time in here and I don't think there's anything there for me. It's all modern. Another bag of Skylanders at the bottom. So I want to say there's loads worth a bit of go in there, but nah, it's not for me. I'm not going to waste time doing that. value them but can't be holding those as well. Oh, Alright this is kind of one Jason uh, enjoy this from the movie. Hence why I was expecting to see some more my knees. I've got another big bag of girls. Pass this on.
15 pound for the Nintendo scope. Oh, and he's got he's always got decent stuff, but he always brings the same stuff back every week because he just don't don't want to sell it. I absolutely don't want to sell it. Game cubes. The Wii remote. Frustrating, absolutely frustrating. But I'll continue to look. How much is your uh, Nintendo by any you chance? How much is your Nintendo by any chance? Uh, well, the whole complete goes together, the whole lot's in there. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, 40 quid. Okay. The lot. It's got two games in there as well. Alright then. Cheers, thank you. Came in auction for me at the last lockdown. Oh, okay. They're opening the loss of Christ Hotel, love. Do you know? Two to a fiver, yeah. Three pound each, two to a fiver. Right, I'll leave them, mate. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. Fuck. That's it, I mean. You say that was for straight, mate. Well then? Fuck. I'm not quite sure. Oh, matey, a DVD VHS. What is the odds, mate? Literally come out. I think she's already got her hands on it. I can't. Oh. Sorry, mate. How much all your like little figures and stuff down here? How much? I'll give you thirty-five for no less than twenty-five. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Thanks very much. I'll see you guys in the morning. One point eight. Thirty-three quid, yeah. I say thirty-five, my friend. If you let people here, it's too fun, too fun for me. Go cost money. Thank you, 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 What do you do for those ones? Oh crap, 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 crap. <laughs> we do a bundle deal if I take the lot. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then that little one. We do ten for all of them. 
I've got a bag, I've got a bag. Oh, yeah. Four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 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 No discount today. So let's get some change. Alright, oh, cheers, thank you. Alright, oh, cheers, mate, thank you. Much appreciated. Sweet. To the reaction figures. yeah like the super sevens yeah yeah i've yeah. got the bit i've got the bigger ones i've got the bigger ones oh, to be fair I'm, I'm well into them yeah I, I do like the big ones i'm 50 50 on the small ones oh, if yeah. there's certain characters i'll pick them up but apart from that yeah it's i've got um what are you into a little bit of everything oh, i'm telling you yeah li literally a little bit of everything it's not how much have you got on them though tenors mate yeah that's good price yeah i know i know yeah, it's good price i'll sell loads of them man but um, I put the cases on, but yeah. I, I get these cases for a quid. Well, I shouldn't tell you that, but I do. So. No, they're decent though. They, yeah, go, they go well with the figures as well, yeah, don't they? they? Have you heard of them? Um, DC Collectibles. No. They make cases for everything, mate. Yeah. Pop vinyl, like any figure. I got are you into Star Wars? A little bit. It's a little oh, bit. Oh, right, oh, right. I've got tons of Star Wars gear. You know, I'm just going to look around here. Is that right? Yeah, go for it. Oh, these things are cool, man. There you are. Those climb I want out. Yeah, they're out, and they're there. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm definitely going to take. I forgot to pack any bags, mate. No, that's right. I've got, I've got some here. How much would you do for two, or is it all? To be fair, I'll sell them all day long, mate. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that's fine. Off, I can knock off two quid. Yeah, I, I'm going to take Robocop as yeah, well. Yeah, go so. for it. Go for it, mate. They're the iconic ones for me from the movies, if that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Give me a little bit of change then just to go around it. Yeah, nice. I wasn't expecting to see this kind of stuff if that makes sense. It's, yeah, yeah. You see it off and on, but every couple it, of weeks. That's, that's good. That's yeah. good for me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely take those two. Doing it, better for me. I'm much appreciated as well. That's all right, mate. I'll pop back. I'll definitely pop back once you set up because there's not that many. Well, I said there's not that many more. They just keep coming, didn't they? So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate. Ah, oh, cheers. Thank you. No worries. Much appreciated. Right, take no, care. No, all the best, guys. Enjoy, all man. the best. 25. 20. 20 is what people ask. 25. 25. It cost me 20. I'm, 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 I'm just saying they're not going to pay 30 for it, bro. I'll say it 20 for to him only. The thing if, is I've, got to, I've got two, I've got too many Mega Drives. It's one of those ones I always bump into. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you can have six for ten, man. Oops. Or two pound each, whatever you want, mate. Like yeah, all right, cheers, thank you. <laughs> you two done your rounds for now? Well, yeah, we've done a little round. You just got to keep going, haven't you? Yeah, Literally, you people are just setting up. Well, the thing is, when I set up, obviously, air horns are here, so none of this game is Yeah, yeah. 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 Couple of seals, a couple of gangs as well. Stick that on there, put on two quid. Four quid. Sealed, innit? <laughs> <laughs> I just, they've, they've just done the reason, mate, that's just kind of getting past. Oh, it has been. Oh, yeah. I remember playing it on the original Xbox, which is a wicked game. Mm. Funny. Help the yeah. cow man. Take all my money. Give <laughs> right. you whatever you want. Yeah. Mate, ben has got like 50 of these. Yeah, exactly. he, bought, yeah he bought like a bunch of boxes, didn't he? How much for four? I'll take these four. four. Yeah. 
seven quid. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, much appreciated. Because I'll play those anyway. Yeah, sweet. Me. You got a ten pound note? I should have a bit of change. I've got, se I've got seven. Oh, seven. I'll give you guys change. Well, have yeah. you got two fibers? I will do in a second, yeah. I don't know where I ain't got ten. Well, seven. Well, seven. No, that's alright. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Alright, cheers, much appreciated. Yeah, I'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll get the change. I'll give you a chance later. Yeah, it's easy, I've got Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Alright, cheers, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back up and see yeah, if there's anything else. So then pop back. Yeah. Take care. All Take the best. Care, see ya. Yeah, da, 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 da. So, guys, that is Ed, Ed Hunt. Uh, I'll put the YouTube, I always say I'll put the link up, I'll put the link up in the bloody comment section because, oh god, my editing skills are not the best guy, so it's not like I'm going to be fancy enough to have some shooting up little uh, sign saying this is his channel, uh, not yet anyway, but picked up Star Wars Flight of the Falcon, uh, Dragon Ball Z, Broken Swords, I do love Broken Swords, and then Justice League Chronicles, £7 for four, I'm happy to pay that, Ed's a good guy as well, uh, I hope those guys do well today. Uh, we'll see what happens. Let's go back to where we were. Nice. Oh, sorry. How much are your games? Pound each. All right. I'll take a few of these. It's always good to see. All right, let's throw that in there. Okay. Take that. I've got Grand Theft Auto. I need that for someone else. I'm going to pick up Tekken. Pick up these. No case though. But GameCube. Oh, cheers. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, did you? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, £2 for this round of one. Cheers. I won't grab that. Um, if you have a feel, I'll do it for £2. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Trained to be a UFC fighter, eh? Yeah, it's Jesus. Brand new. It's got the yeah. Something in, it's a little strap, I say. I've never I'd, seen one where it wants you to be a fighter, but. I'd do that for a pound if you want. Yeah. I've had it for a pound. Yeah. Well, I might take you saying just interested. Yeah. I not don't really you see that. Find one still. Yeah, not <laughs> not a UFC one either. It's like, what is that about? Uh, I've got. Oh yeah. Always desirable, isn't they? I just keep finding stuff from. <laughs> oh, from home and just like yeah, bring it down. When I, you know, like when I had my shops, I had some shit everywhere, like absolutely everywhere, and still keeps surfacing. I keep thinking I got rid of it all, and it's stuff keeps surfacing. Oh yeah, I remember these. You used to get the game to go with those. Yeah, I remember that as well. Ready to rumble. That was a game, wasn't it, when it came out? Yeah. Yeah, I always need stuff like that. There's a that there. That's a Mega Drive extension lead. Jesus. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Stuff I used to, I used to get everything for everything. Like whatever I could find, every accessory, I used to do everything. I used to love it in the day. Now it's Yeah, you just want to get rid. Yeah, I'm just shut that. <laughs> Please stop letting me see game shit. I don't do yeah. it anymore. <laughs> 
It used to really excite me. <laughs> yeah, now it's uh, not as much. Had some good times with it. That's it. It's all about the memories. So, you know, I'll take that. I just want to. I want, I want two quid yeah that's fine I, I i need one anyway to be fair uh i didn't realize that yeah two quid's a good price i went to someone before and someone tried to charge a tenner i just put it back no, i was are. like you, but they're... They're... what did i see the other day it's like uh, oh see them motorway yeah i don't even know what they're for they must be the walkie talkies i don't know why i've got them but then i looked online they're like 15 quid oh wow yeah. There's some some little niche -y stuff you can get. That wants it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this though. Right. This stuff. Okay. There you go. I'll let you. Right, so it's two. Do that 50p, on it? Oh, thank you. That's three pounds, four pounds, five pounds, six, seven, eight pounds, ten, eleven, twelve. What did I say I did that for? Pound. Thirteen. Do that with pound. I'm doing that. That's fourteen. And how much are your CDs? 50p. Yeah, I brought a few last week, I think, because you had like the hip hop ones. So I'll grab that one. Spending up now. Grab my other bag. Yeah, so I'll, I'll grab this as well, if that's right. Oh, cheers, thank you. 1450. Ah, there you go. Cheers, thank you. Ah, oh, cheers. Thanks a lot. Take care. All the best. Oh, here you go. Try to look Mr. Hanky Christmas poo. Need that. Ah, oh, cheers. Thanks. 6.30. Ah, oh, you're up. How much are your games? Would you do three for ten? Yeah, go on. If I pick up these three? Mm. Yep. Uh, not a dance with them. No, not a dancer, not a dancer. <laughs> definitely not a dancer. Uh, and I've, I've definitely got the Mario already. That one's brilliant, that 2D one. Yeah, yeah, this one. Is it that one? Or that, that one? one? Yeah, that's... That one's good. Yeah. I mean, my generation, we like the 2D. Yeah, that's the... I've, I've got this one, because I think you got you can get another one where they, they, they've got the Luigi one at the that's bottom. Yeah. I'm already certain I've got this one. Because uh, I did pick it up. But yeah, I'll, I'll pick those two up. You ain't got the consoles or anything, have you? Or? I did, but I've sold it. Ah, uh, yeah, someone would definitely pick it up, wouldn't they? Yeah. How much were you asking for it, just out of interest? or? Ah, oh, it's not bad at all, is it? It's not bad at all. Uh, they, they, are, they are good fun. It's just the kids, the kids move on. Ah, there you go. Cheers, definitely. Oh, thank you. Have fun. Oh, no, I definitely will. <laughs> definitely will. Have you played that 3D well? No, so I think I've got it on the DS, but I haven't got it on the uh, Nintendo U. Yeah, Wii U. Yeah, if you get two or three of you playing it. Yeah, no, I have to uh, yeah, definitely give it a go. I think the only thing I'm missing is the is the actual console, because I got rid of mine ages ago, but, so I need a console, but I'm just picking up the games as and when I see them. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's all good fun, though. Ah, oh, cheers, thank you. Much appreciated. This is a crazy feel here. Absolute crazy feel.
Look at these, now you see. Look at these. Oh, don't do this to me, mate. The Dragon Balls. Look at these. To me, it looks like there's extra Dragon Balls here. I'm sorry, how much are these by any chance? Um, the whole pack. Yeah, just out of interest, just um, Dragon Ball. There you go. I think they're for about £10. Pounds. Okay. Quid, no, so I, th I think about it. I just wanted, yeah, just wanted to ask. But yeah, no, definitely. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I've a lot of stuff. Oh. Um, I'm going to regret that. I'm going to regret walk away. Walk away, walk away, walk away. Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So, boot sale pickup video. Uh, picked up quite a bit, guys, to be fair. I would... I was expecting the boot sale to be good, I'm not going to lie. It's bank holiday weekend in the UK. The weather's brilliant. Uh, I was expecting it to pick up quite a bit. There was a lot of sellers at the boot sales, but there was a lot of resellers and there's a lot of collectors as well. So I just kept going, kept trickling along, picking up bits and pieces. And here's some of the bits and pieces I picked up. Uh, you would have seen in the video as well. So firstly, because I'm just going to go on what's on top of the piles. Uh, so met a guy there that sells a lot of like uh, newer toys in terms of just reselling from a stall. And he had lots of Super Super 7, so the uh, reactor reaction figures. Uh, and there was two there that just stood out for me straight away. So if you guys know, I'm a massive Ash from Evil Dead fan. So Ash was there. Uh, and Robocop. Now, the guy wanted £10 each. Totally understand. They're new figures. Uh, I got him down to, instead of 20 for the two, to 18 for the two. And then they've got these cool little display cases as well that he told me that were from DC Collectibles. Uh, and they're about £1 each. You must buy them in bulk. Uh, but they are decent cases for these little figures. Uh, so yeah, I just picked these up. These are brilliant. I think you guys know I love the Super 7 stuff. Uh, so yeah, able to get newer toys at a boot sale, that's pretty good. So they go straight on the shelf. And then there was a well, a family there that was sending loads, selling loads of different bits and pieces. And they had a bundle of toys. And in the toys, there's a few retro toys that wouldn't shift on prices. So even if I picked up 13 figures, they literally wanted one pound each. Didn't care about size, didn't care if it was really small, really big. Didn't care, one pound. So I got to 13, I was like, we take, nope, not going to take anything. Nope, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. It's 13 pounds. So I just paid it in the end and picked them up because I'm not coming across toys that often in terms of early 90 ones anyway. Uh, at the boot sale, so I just pick them up as and when I see them now. So, firstly, Robocop, and I think this is, I thought this was a Toy Island one, the talking one. So, obviously, it's not saying anything at the moment. Batteries must have ran out or something, but I need to take, just take the batteries out. But Robocop, it's a good little find, to be fair. So, you got Robocop. This is the other one that I found, which was a bit, bit strange, but I picked him up anyway. And he was one pound, obviously, with a bundle, one pound each. A little street shark on rollerblades. So, it's picked him up as well. This is one of the main uh, one of the main characters. This is a character from Dinosaur, so it's the uh, one of the boss of uh, where I say the, the father of the dinosaurs live uh, works. So I picked him up because I definitely recognised him. Uh, picked up Dead Eye. Got loads of Dead Eyes now, but you know, for one pound, you don't see him in the boot sale. I'm going to pick him up. This is from Mummies. Mummies Alive is it? The cartoon show. So I saw that one. Nineties. I remember that's definitely nineties. Uh, VR Troopers. That's definitely a VR Trooper. So I picked him up as well. This is the guy from Robocop who I believe, let me know if I'm, I'm swear I'm right on this. Is this the guy, is it in Robocop 1 that fell in the ooze and fell in the slime or the acid and looked bloody all awful as he's coming 
out of that acid. I'm, I'm not too sure if that's this is based on that character out of the first one, but it's for the TV show. Because uh, I remember that. And then this is, is it Hicks? I think from Aliens. So a loose figure. They had Wolf there as well from Gladiators. I left that behind because I've already got Wolf. And then there's a couple of turtles. Uh, there's the wacky Raph. He's, he is a little bit loose. He's a little bit wacky. So, uh, but I thought I'd pick him up anyway. And then again, none, none of their necessities, but the original turtles with nothing, just them as their basic self. Leonardo, Raphael and Donatello. Uh, it would have been good to get a Mikey as well. Uh, but I tend, I'm finding a lot of turtles, especially this year. And then this is a weird one because I've not, I've not seen this one before, but I picked him up because he was there. So it looks like a lot, lifeguard Leonardo. Uh, never seen him before. He's got like a backpack on him. Oh, here you go, guys. So he must fill this up with water and he spits it out of his mouth because I can, you can just look, hear the air coming out. So yeah, picked that up as well. So that was a pound. Uh, again, need to check him out. And then one of the other ones, so I met Ed from Ed Hunt. So I always see Ed Hunt, uh, Ed Hunt at the boot sale uh, and usually Tom from Bizarre Pieces. But Ed Hunt was stalling out there where his sisters were stalling out there. Uh, and he said, look, come down and take some look at some games, uh, which is very nice of him. And I took a look, he had some Game Boy Advance games and he'd done all four of them, I believe, for £7. Uh, so I picked up uh, don't know that, the legendary of, I can't see that last bit without my glasses, but Goku, uh, Dragon Ball Z, Star Wars Flight of the Falcon, Broken Swords. Uh, I love Broken Swords, massive Broken Swords fan. I remember playing one on PlayStation 1 and I just got memorized, like just absolutely just in love with that game. Used to play it all the time and got stuck on a level. You know your Broken Swords, PlayStation 1. I got stuck for days getting past the bloody goat in Ireland. So there's a level where you got to get past this goat. It took me ages just to really get the pointer where you needed to, to get the guy to go past the goat, uh, to knock something on the rope so the goat's stuck there. But yeah, Broken Swords. And then the last one, Justice League's Chronicles. I picked that up as well. So £7. So yeah, no, thanks for that, Ed. Much appreciated. I put a link to Ed's video in the like summary of the video as well. And then, so this one wouldn't have been on camera. So I did go to another boot sale after. So my GoPro, guy, I should have said as well, my GoPro just officially died at the first boot sale because it was so bloody big. There was a lot of sellers there. And I, I always leave the GoPro on non-stop and just try and edit out the best uh, edit in the best bits uh, but i went to the second boot sale and it was f it was full from fence to fence so the whole field was full never seen it like that on that one it's the one i usually go to sometimes on a wednesday uh but there wasn't much there so i walked around well i got there about five minutes late there wasn't much there so i thought i have another walk around and literally they were not out when i first walked in a guy paid one pound off an elderly couple and i thought jesus he scored massively uh, so they had Nintendo, Nintendo Wii, and it was so there was sport, uh, there was the sports results, normal sports, Mario Kart, two controllers, no console, uh, Mario, so a Mario Kart case, a Mario Kart with a steering wheel in the box, uh, a couple of Marios, and they wanted one pound for all of them, and the guy gave one pound. He just obviously he would do. He just picked them up straight away and went. Uh, and I thought, wow, that's a massive score. Massive score. I was trying to look what other games there were, but they're the ones I saw. It just shows you these stuff's out there. You can still get it pretty cheaply as well. Uh, what I saw there, so I remember this as a kid, uh, and it stood out to me straight away. So it's by Matchbox, and it's the Harley Davidson Cycles uh, from 93. And if you remember, like, Evil Knievel, I guess, where you'd really rev up the little engine, uh, I want to say engine part, but you used to lock the bike into like this uh, little motor and you'd really have to steer the motor and all of a sudden you press the button and he'd just spin off, do a, whatever you wanted him to do on concrete. So if you put a couple of ramps, he'd jump the ramps. This is what kind of Max Max uh, Match Box brought out, but they used Harley Davidson. So there's a little plastic man on a uh, Harley Davidson. You rev the kind of... Uh, controls of the motorbike the front of the motorbike you just rev it rev it rev it and then you release the gear the little gear, uh, gear clutch that's on there and the bike goes flying off so it's trying to be similar to evil knievel but i picked out three pound uh the box it isn't in the best shape as you can see there there's like dinks in it it needs a bit of a clean uh but for three pound from 93 is one i remember this i thought yeah i'm gonna pick that up and then one of the main buys before I get onto the gaming bits and pieces. So when I first got to the boot sale, as you would have seen in the video, I literally skimmed it all. I got there at quarter past five, skimmed everything. There wasn't much. People were stalling out though. And because the weather started off a little bit 
overcast. There was loads of uh, people coming in about six and seven o'clock to set up. Uh, so I started going around looking and then I saw a pile of board games and right at the bottom of the board games was Ghost Castle. Uh, I saw it, I literally only saw that bit and knew straight away, right, I need to go and do this. Be a little bit calm because it's one of those desirable games and I've kind of done something similar when I done found Hero Quest. Kind of went over, acted a bit calm, just asked how much it was. Hero Quest was a pound and that's in one of my boot sale videos. Uh, picked that up. This, I just said, look, how much for this? And I, I asked how much for Guess Who as well. I thought I don't want to make it look too blatant that like there's one game in there, uh, one game that I want out of the games that are there. So they turned around and said, "Oh, what for that one or that one?" I said, "Look, let's just be honest here. I only want Ghost Castle. How much?" And then they said, "Oh, you got to ask my mum." And I thought, "Oh, this is going to be a bit of money, but let me wait and see." Uh, so I did start going through it just to see. And the main thing you want to look for in this, for me, is I look to see if the skulls in there because that's always missing of the ones i see online and even if they're missing bits and pieces uh you still get quite a bit of uh, sell on value for it uh, i will keep this going in my own collection and no doubt play it but yeah three pound guys this come back at three pound for ghost castle uh there's the little skull that was in there that's the correct one and then i started counting in the little players to make sure but everything is in here so you've got the four players here all the little stands they go on are here uh, then I didn't realise, but these are in here anyway. I started thinking, oh crap, I'm missing these little white, like ghosty looking things. But they're all in here. The coffin little things in here. All the display piece in here, the spinners in here. So I've, I've literally checked everything and it's complete. So it's a complete, uh, a complete ghost house. I hope you guys can see that a little bit. A complete ghost house uh, for three pound. So I was bloody ecstatic with that so this was my first find and i quickly went back to the car and put it in the car because i didn't really want to be carrying this around i did have bags with me but i knew people would ask me especially i know quite a lot of people there would ask me how much you got for it and i'd have to tell the story instead of walking around so i quickly i thought it's better just to bring it back to the car so i brought it back to the car literally started from the front again so picked that up three pound mostly in my eyes bargain of the day on that uh because they they go for quite a bit of money on the ebay uh and then the final one i guess where I, no it's not the final one there's two people that i brought these off actually so then i got to a guy so i was walking around didn't see these the first time didn't see him the second time guy started stalling out he put nintendo wii u games out and i thought our oh, results so i went over he wanted five pound each i was like i'm oh, not worth five pound and i just want ones for my collection so i paid 10 pound for these three and then these little two things that come with the animal house is it Animal House? I'm saying Animal House because of the movie. It's Animal Crossing. There's me with my movies. Uh, it's Animal Crossing, not Animal House. Be cool it's Animal House, wouldn't it? And you get little characters of the Animal House uh, college guys. That would be cool. I'm trying to flog things to Nintendo now. Bring us, bring us Animal House. Uh, but yeah, picked up Mario Kart, Mario, Super Mario 3D World, and then Animal Crossing, not Animal House. Uh, with two of the little figures so that was 10 pound in all then i said because there was a few games there but i had a lot of them and i don't want the just dance i know the just dance get good trading value but i've got a lot of stuff to go to cx uh which i'm going to do this weekend well today because it is the weekend this the it's monday it's bank holiday monday now but i'm filming this pickup bit now i've been a bit lazy putting videos together to be fair uh given uh good weather and the fact that chelsea won the champions league i, I kind of got thrown off of that i wasn't expecting that and i'm a chelsea fan so it is a pretty crazy weekend however back to this uh yeah so pick these up for 10 and i thought i'm gonna ask him if he's got a console because the amount that was there looked like there was a console so i asked him he said yeah i had a back box console mate literally about 10 minutes ago uh someone picked it up and i thought oh god because that's what that's on the wish list it's been that and the dvd vh vhs uh combi that i've wanted uh, so I just said, oh, how much did you sell it for? I only wanted 30 boxed. I was like, oh. I said, and I think I've, I've said it in the video. I said, oh, that's a really good price for a Nintendo uh, U in the box. So yeah, I missed out on that. There was another one. Uh, I never saw it, but someone told me there was another one that was selling for 100. Uh, I wouldn't have picked that up anyway, but for 30 quid, I would have picked it up. So yeah, so I picked that up anyway to go to my Nintendo uh, Wii U collection. Then the last lot was uh so this guy sets up and to be fair he goes every week but he sets up a lot later than everyone else i don't know if it's because he's walking around looking or he's just taking his time so he set up about an hour hour or two after it opened uh and i spoke to him quite a few times and he said he used to run like a retro computer shop and he's just literally getting rid of bits and pieces as he finds it now in his garage because he's got rid of most bits but there's still a few bits floating around so for all this i think i paid 
I want to say 14 pounds, maybe 14.50. Uh, so did I pay 14.50? It seems seems quite a bit. It seems quite a bit. It might not have been. I'd have to go back over the video now. I can't even remember. But it, it wasn't. It wasn't much. It wasn't much. But the case is battered. But I can change that because I got cases. So Bomberman on the PlayStation One. Uh, Tekken on the PlayStation One. And he had some decent PlayStation 1s here. Grand Theft Auto, but I've got it already. I don't want to just keep picking these up. Uh, no case, but ready to rumble on the Dreamcast. Again, just a game, but it's got like the sleeve is Inspector Gadget on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, memory card, because I just picked these up when I see them. Now, this, this is what I want, and I only needed one more, and this is it. So, you would have seen a couple of weeks ago, I brought the Nintendo uh, Wii's. I think I paid 15 for two. They had everything. But they were missing the sensor bars. I've picked up one already. Uh, and I've picked up this one. So I think this cost me £3. That one in there cost me 50p that I picked up. And it's funny because a couple of weeks ago, you would have seen in one of my Beatsell videos, I picked one up and he wanted a tenner. A tenner. So it just shows you just got to wait. They will turn up. So I picked up. And then out of the blue, I'm always on the lookout for these. So this says Lotus on it. Uh, so I don't know if this is a special one. But it's the kind of wire add-on adapter that you need for the Xbox to play the pads. I'm always looking for these. Uh, so I saw it and put that in there as well. Uh, haven't seen this before, so I put it in on there. So he always has hip-hop hip CDs, which I picked up of him. A couple of weeks ago, actually, I picked up the D12 and every, uh, NARS and etc. off of him that I put in my video. But he had this Encore m, &M. Looked like a special edition. There's so many photos. In, so many photos in here. So many photos. We love that there's an autograph in here, but I don't think there is. Uh, that, would, that would absolutely be brilliant. But... It's an Encore. I need to go through it to be fair. I'm not going through it. Encore Collector's Edition. In the box. Uh, Slim Shady. Eminem. He threw this in for free. Tiger Woods. I'm not a Tiger Woods fan. Uh, and then I picked up for the GameCube. He had a couple of games. They've got the instruction. No cases. So Harry Potter. Legends of Wrestling. And then these were the last two. So this was sealed. I don't know if he wanted like £3 for this. So I just picked it up. I said, yeah, I've not seen it before. I said, I didn't even realise you could do tra UFC training fitness. So it is sealed. And it's got like a little the leg strap that's included. Absolutely God knows. I've not even seen this before. I don't even know much about it. But I said, yeah, throw that in there. And then we throwed in the eye toy as well. Uh, and I opened this and it's got the little camera in as well. So I wasn't expecting it to have the camera inside. Uh, but to be fair, the box looks a bit battered. But it looks like it hasn't really come out of there. And he said most of his stuff's like that, where it's just been sitting in the garage, etc. So yes, yeah, so I picked it up as well. Uh, and then that was, that was it from the boot sale. I thought it was a good day. It would have been lovely. Obviously, I've got the Ghost Castle. It would have been lovely just to finish the day off and go, you know what? I had an absolutely brilliant day if I'd picked up the Nintendo U as well. But it's a, it's a good haul. It's a good haul. I'm definitely happy because I know I've said in my videos that I was going to go and pick these up from mostly Forbidden Planet, where I think they would have been about 15 15 to 20 pound each uh, so i've ended up getting both of them for 18 and in cases uh um that one's not unpunched that one is punched uh that's punched that's unpunched which i'm not really fussed about but yeah i'm i'm, I'm happy with these definitely happy with the ash definitely happy with the ash and the robocop you know i'm a robocop fan uh so yeah really happy to pick those up but ghost castle is going to be the pick up of the day for three pound uh so yeah with that said that's it for this uh boot sale video hope you enjoyed can't believe the GoPro died. I guess when the GoPro dies, you're having a good day. Uh, having a really good day. And there's a lot to look at. Uh, you would have seen as well, guys, actually, quickly. I passed on the Dragon Ball C. Dragon Balls. The lady wanted £8. I should have brought them. I don't know if I got that on camera either. I don't know if my GoPro died by then. But a lady had a box. It was like a box. The box was battered, but it flips up. It's got a little cushion. And it had all the Dragon Balls and two extra, like someone's throwing two spares in there. But they looked absolutely blinding. But I just thought to myself, what am I going? One, what am I going to do with them? And two, uh, I had it in my head that I was going to go back there. I just, ended, I never ended up going back there. But yeah, I've had a good day. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's brilliant. I picked up some good pieces that are just going to the collection anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's. I'm going to leave it there. But have a lovely week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing if you've subscribed. Uh, and yeah, stay safe and see you again next week. Take care.